Right, it's happened sooner than we thought, but... We're moving out. We're moving. This is a little bit sooner than we wanted to, but obviously, um, yeah, the weather's been naff, and um, the situation with the van build, with the weather, and not wanting to annoy anyone, like, as I'm building the van and make noises and all that kind of stuff, so... Um, We've got our own little unit. Yes. Courtesy of um, friend Scott. Thank you very much. Yes. Sorted us out with a little unit. And um, yeah, we just now need to pack. <laughs> so not only is there now a ton more stuff than there was when we arrived because of stuff to build the van, um, but we've got a bit cosy, haven't we, as well? Yeah, we have. We have literally got... I mean, move closer. It's... Move closer. But what I have noticed is that you're an untidy bugger. I'm not, I just don't bother tidying up because I know I'll need it the next day. So un untidy then, <sighs> yeah, untidy. untidy. So yeah, there's these things everywhere um, and uh, things have been creeping out of my van and coming in here as well because it's more useful. So it's time to get everything from my van back in my van and then um, everything else into yours <laughs> to go and get up to this unit because we can stay there as well. So yeah. So it's got obviously a toilet, it's got water, sink, it's got a little office area and a big workshop. Uh, the van will just about squeeze in there with some adjustments to its height via, you know, no air in the tyres. <laughs> um, but yeah, get it inside, get it worked on, get it done. But yeah, just somewhere that we don't have to keep moving around. So yes, yeah, so we just need to carefully pack so we don't do too many trips. It's not so far away um, from where we are now. But... Um, yeah, this place is a mess, I must admit. It's your mess. It's going to take some time to organise it and I'll fit it in the van. So let's just get on with it. Yeah. Oh, the irony of dodging the rain showers whilst packing the van to move into the unit. But now the van is pretty much packed now, um, but it's interesting to know that everything I need to build the van and everything that came out of my last van, the motorhome, easily fits in there, including all the packaging and tools that are probably won't carry all that stuff around with me anyway when I'm done. So yeah, it's about an hour away. So um, loads of country lanes, bumpy roads, give the suspension a good test out. Um, and then I'll have a good comparison once it's built. And I put the super spring stuff on there um, to see how that feels. Can't wait for that bit. So today is moving day again. <laughs> it's weird because in van life, you don't get moving out and moving in. But lately we've been moving out and moving in far too much. <laughs> obviously so today hopefully it'll be one of the last days that we move for a while yes move and build a bit more positivity right and a bit more a bit more van life yeah a back more, to basics yeah what we what we wanted in the first place not saying we're not grateful for yeah. having all of this but it seems like it's too much i think it's spoilers yeah. having sofas and um, you know, sort of like on-demand shower and water and big open spaces and TVs and all that kind of stuff. It's just not van life. But we don't need it though. See, this is the thing yeah. we need. We need smaller and simpler. Yep. And you need a van. Oh, uh, well, I've got a van. You need a van with an inside you can sleep in. Camper van. <laughs> so we've packed up. My van is packed to the rafters, which um, it could be quite useful because it's apparently a little bit close on the old getting through the door or not. So have to see how we get on when we get there. All right, less waffle, more doing. More doing. I'm sure you've figured out already that this video is really a hodgepodge of little clips because we were so excited about getting the unit that we really didn't film that much about actually getting the unit. So here we are at the unit. Do you think we'll fit in? Yes, did it, got it in just, as you can just about see, little bit of um, clearance issues, uh, but now it came in. Um, I just had to lower my antenna, obviously. But now everything else is still on the roof. Van was fully loaded, so that helped sort of drag the uh, the weight down a little bit. But yeah, we're in, just unpacking. And then um, gotta go back, gotta go to B&Q, get some timber, pick up a few bits and bobs, and then get cracking again. So I can't wait, it's gonna be so cool. Right, so that's my van, back at the unit now. Back at the unit, hey. Now we gotta go back to Willow Fields. Uh, just to finish emptying out personal belongings and the Airbnb and then clean it up and then on the way back stop it at B&Q and get some timber. Timber! Timber! And oh yeah, food. and food, yeah. But yeah, well impressed we've got the van inside there though. Yeah. That was, uh, even in the happy dance. Yes. <laughs> that's going to be so good, just having the van inside, 
to get working on things and obviously someone else is definitely thinking of doing it so knowing that we can get that size van inside I'm pretty sure she'll uh, be definitely on it now yes and we got to meet the neighbours yeah two lots of them yeah so yeah right onwards well that's us all packed up our second little trip the other van's in um, the uh, workshop and Bumble is being our little what? taxi taxi I guess yeah Getting moving all personal stuff and bits of food and stuff like that yeah so um say bye bye Airbnb you did us well yeah but we have to say though um we've been rather spoilt by the luxuries <laughs> I would say of comfy sofa mm. never-ending water hot water um all the cooking facilities, TVs. They're not having to think about it for a shower. They're not having to prep. So if you're in the van, yeah. you've got to put the hot water on and prep for that. It's just literally like stroll out of bed, get rid of your PJs as you go in and straight into the shower. And yeah, all of those things. All those spoiled. modern house amenities have spoiled us. So I think we are about um, a week off, three years of living in a van, albeit for the last month we've been living in Airbnb. <laughs> And um, on, yeah. on and off, we've been in a bumble as well. I miss van life, so I'm kind of looking for camping out at the workshop. Looking forward to that. <laughs> uh, cold water only, although we did see quite a cool little bit of tech that's in there a hot water, instant hot water tap that uses three kilowatts of power. Yeah, if that was might not be getting one of them, if that was any less, they'd yeah. be one ordered Amazon straight away. But yeah, three kilowatts is a little bit much, but it is very cool. Might be one going on test just to see, you know. <laughs> uh. But um, yeah, it'd be like camping out back in the van, um, use Bumble, I guess, as a bedroom and a kitchen. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, just get cracking on the van build. Yeah. Pull your finger out, John. Yeah. So, yeah, we've got packing up now. Go and say bye to Johnny and Gabby. We will be back. We'll be back for the um, bonfire night and um, probably other occasions as well. Well, yeah. And to camp, you know. Yeah, because we well. like it here. I don't know if you've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> um, but for now, yeah. Back to the workshop. Get some building done. Yeah, absolutely. All right, then. So it's quite late. It's about half ten. Beauty about having the unit. You just crack on. It's absolutely monsooning it down outside. And I'm nice and warm and dry inside. And I've been tidying up a little bit, organising little workbench areas. Got my tools out, my stuff on charge. Um, little bits of what I'm going to be needing next, that kind of stuff. Uh, but mainly I want to make a big space in the middle of the floor um, to set out my flooring. So I've got some ply sheets down the side over there. I'm going to set the ply out in the configuration I want it in the morning. Um, and then put the old ply on top of it just to give myself a rough outline um, and then cut that just so it's easier to get into the van and manipulate it you know to get the edges correct um well yeah first day at the unit <sighs> well impressed with it um like i said push the van back as far as i can get it uh, to give me this space at the front um, and it's a massive workspace someone did point out that you know after building vans, it'd be quite a nice place to store motorbikes and other such things like that. I know a few people who build vans and play with motorbikes and then in their industrial units. <laughs> Getting some floor started this morning. Hammer time! Hammer time! Do, 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 do. You have to do the dance. No. You've already done one dance this week, so you can't do another. That's it, do the dance yesterday when we got the unit. Yeah, well, when you got your van in. Well, yeah. <laughs> right, yeah so today, we'll this is what we're doing. So we're happy with the floor now. That fits lovely. So we just put the outro flooring down and um, obviously fix these in place over it. And then we're going to cut around with a, yeah, know, about three to five mil gap around the edge. Uh, I think Mandy should do this bit. Ha! No. <laughs> it's on the outro floor and it's dead cheap if you mess it up. Yeah, of course it is. So yeah, just cut around the edge. So we've got our floor in and then put all this back in the van, obviously, detape it, put it back in, glue it down. And then when we've uh, 
been to Morrison's Cafe <laughs> for an hour or so while that's glued down properly. And we'll come back and stick the outro flooring over the top. Now, normally when Mandy's using scissors like this, she'll have her tongue out. But I think she knows I'm filming, so she's not doing it right now. There we go. <laughs> so that's the flooring. So just so you know, we have 25 mil Celotex. We've then got 12 mil ply. Um, and then this uh, Altro flooring with a nice wood grain effect. Um, and everything's glued down. The Celotex is um, Sikaflex down to the van floor. Then the ply is Sikaflex to the Celotex. Um, and then it's going to be uh, screwed down on these battens which run around all around the outside over the back and everything like that so it gets fixed down properly and we're working and it's raining yay <laughs> winning so yeah a bit of an insight into what we're doing um, obviously if you want to catch up on the main build of um, my van um, then go on to my channel Gadget John um, Mandy will still be in the odd scene or two <laughs> only because you know I can't get rid of her and she's got a knife right now so I mean you know she's got to be in there well not help you <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we just thought on this vlog we'd take you along of, to what we've been doing and the fact that you're probably going to see a lot more of this unit because Mandy's really caught the self build bug Oh my goodness, have I? Yeah. I'm not fitting my own floor though. So we'll talk about that another time. Um, but we thought we'd share a bit of a, a what we've been up to this last week with you guys. Anyway, let's get the floor done. And then tonight it's tiger loaf and Heinz tomato cream, cream of tomato soup, isn't it? Yes, it's called bastard tiger loaf because it's in there and that's all I can smell. So since we've got back from shopping, I'll be like, bastard tiger loaf. I just want to eat it. So... Yeah, it literally, there is so much like freshly sawn timber yeah. and obviously a van and all of this stuff and all you can smell in the whole unit is tiger loaf. Yeah. Should we tour of the unit? Yeah, why not? Quick tour. So this is what we're calling our kind of personal items slash breakout room slash workstation. Um, so yes, this is our, our main entrance into the unit and uh, where we've got little bits of food we've been shopping before, we've not put it away yet hang the coats up there and then a few of the bits that we've not yet put away yet because obviously we've been just cracking on with the build um this is the workshop tool area and obviously um got a mention about the epic epic tools so they're really helping with everything we do at the moment but well, that's everything that we need to build the van and yes i cannot wait to get all that installed so that's going to be brilliant uh, more personal items that came out of my van um, the bikes and a few other bits and bobs more insulation most of the solway panels are down there right now those are my three uh, water containers one's going to be waste uh, and then two for fresh water and they're 23 liters each um, that's part of my bed so those are the three rails for my bed and the slats Ooh. Like that. Uh, this is our toilet, which yeah, suffice. Um, we get to go to the toilet and we get to wash our hands. Now this is our little kitchen area, uh, which I'm trying to set up as a little cooking area as well. So some of the cooking stuff's down there as well. Uh, that's the old seat base. Obviously you can learn more about that over on Gadget John. Um, there's my internet router I keep going on about, which is working absolutely stonking just inside. I've not even hooked the antennas up or anything yet. Um, and that's the van in the unit. So it just about fits in there. There's about eight, maybe eight to 10 inches clearance to the roof. So that's all right. And today uh, we've got the flooring down. So it's, the weather, obviously it's dark outside now, but the weather's been really bad outside. We had a bit of a storm that woke us up during the night. Um, but yeah, just in one day, we've managed to get all the flooring down. Uh, Mandy's just finishing off trimming this up now to make sure it fits okay. And then we're going to stick this down uh, and leave it overnight. And then really going to get cracking on um, with finishing off all the metal beams 
so that none of the metal beams are exposed so whatever we stick to them doesn't squeaky squeak fill in a bit more insulation and then start adding the um the finished wall panels but again more details on that on gadget john um on this our little uh, vlog we just thought we'd let you know what we're not to really well folks this is date night <laughs> <laughs> glass of wine creamy tomato soup in our little uh, hot pot things and some Derbyshire tiger loaf bread so we need them here in each other yep there we Sorted. go what else could we possibly want indeed well our built van had help <laughs> hey we've got a floor that's it cracking on now oh. all right let's uh let's eat like kings and queens Aye. and this is um this is what nighttime looks like right now, really. Uh, this is a uh, Casa. What are we calling these? Are we going for just Nigel? Nigel. Oh, it's not Nigel Bumblesbury or anything, the full name. It's just Nigel. It depends on the, or how you want to use his name, really, because if it's a formal thing and you're introducing him, then it has to be Nigel, Nigel. Bumblesbury. Okay, then. So, you know. yeah. So, Mandy's van. Yeah. Nigel. Nigel Bumblesbury. Bumble. The bed on wheels. <laughs> yeah, essentially it is the bed on wheels. Got a little kitchen area in there, but obviously we're using the van for everything else. And um, yeah, it's been very cosy, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Is so, the temperature better for you this time? It is, yeah. I came in here last night after being in the workshop and I'm acclimating, acclimatising. It depends where in the world you're from. Um, to the workshop temperature, which is about 14 degrees because I just crack on, crack on. I don't feel it so much. So I came in here last night. <laughs> it was like you know when you get off the plane and you go to i don't know where would you say like some greek island or yes. something and you're some holiday and you get off the plane and you're like God, what the heck it wasn't that bad really was <laughs> really 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 was yeah so we're on um diesel heaters baking on 30 yeah. 13 degrees that's all i would say it's at least 19 in here but i'll let you off 22 no, 22 there you go so yeah, we just thought we'd make a little um, vlog to let you know that we've moved, um, why we've moved. Maybe you don't know that I'm building myself a van, and somebody might be quite soon as well. Yeah, no um, rush on that one though. Nah. Um, but you know, in order to get that van done in a timely way, and um, you know, just to kind of get it finished off quickly, so we can get back on the road, because got you know, travellers itchy feet. Mm. Um, we just thought. Getting a workshop was the best way around. Absolutely, and the weather's just gone pants. So yeah, it, I mean today is a very good indication of how much more we can do. Oh yeah, indoors. So we got the whole floor in done today, and there was a storm raging outside. Mm. So and happy some days. Other bits of stuff, you know, you put mm. the lump base on, and all yeah. sorts of other bits of stuff while you've been waiting for things to be done. So it's been a really productive day. Oh, that's teamwork. Teamwork, baby. Mm. So there you go. So yeah, if you're not watching the van build. Um, it's a very interesting and different van build. Not that I'm trying to be interesting and different. Um, I just kind of want to build a van in the way that I want to build it based on, well, it's three years now, actually, isn't it? Since we've been living in a van. So um, if you want to go watch it, like I say, go and watch over on Gadget John on YouTube. And if you want to catch up what we're doing, um, someone still needs to edit videos of being in Cornwall. Yeah, well, I've got a little bit of stuff done on it. So, uh, yeah, there'll be one out in the next couple of days, I think. You with it here, mate? Just, you know, two days. <laughs> Just a couple. That's loose loose two days, isn't it? You know. One, two. See, three's more than a couple. It's got to be two. Right. Yep. So, from us, it's um, a thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. You certainly will. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.